All right, guys. Uh, probably the final part of East Two. We were in the center of East. Which is reintegrating with Earth. Core of Ancient East. Mr. Adol! Right here! Mr. Adol, it's me! Why are we here? I'll tell you later. Right now you need to hurry. Everyone's waiting for you. I don't think there's any enemies in here. I guess I'm not at max. Maybe it's 60. Murray is alive. Aha. Notorious AC just got the achievement. You're idle, are you not? We met before, though only briefly. Hi, I'm Maria. Keith brought me here after I collapsed in the bell tower. He told me that my bracelet lay in pieces beside me. It would seem that it absorbed all the energy intended for me, ultimately saving my life. Time is of the essence. Do not tarry here. Ah, uh, see? I tricked you guys. Oh, fuck. Now you're IMing me? When I'm at the... Weird. Never mind that. I think it's an old IM that just came through under my phone. Where's the fucking door? Alright, am I just being stupid or. Oh, there we go, Keith. Alright. At all, this way! The goddesses are at the end of this passageway, and Gorto is waiting for you a bit farther ahead. Please hurry. I love the way this place looks. Hey, good to see you, Adol. It's me, Gorto, from Ramia. The goddesses are beyond this barrier, most likely, but I have no idea how we can possibly get through. Hey, did you see something move over there? What could it have been? Was it a demon? Damn it, we've come so far. What do we do now? A black shadow was seen darting off ahead. Someone was just here. Adol? My goodness, it's so great to see that you're all right. I'm sorry if I made you worry. After I was turned back, I got an overwhelming urge to see you, as if I were being drawn here. But that's not the only reason. I just felt like I needed to be useful in some way. And before I knew it, I was here. Here I was. I was able to come all this way without any demons spotting me, and I believe this ring made it possible. When I was searching for you in the subterranean canal, I met two girls, and they gave it to me. They said, if you find the one you seek, please give this to him. Clearly, you're the one they met, so please take this ring. I believe it would be crucial in your quest. And you get the goddess ring. Definitely want to equip that. Perhaps that ring has the power to destroy the demon's barrier. Oh, I bet it does. What's this? I forget what that's all about, actually. Alright. Almost there. It's sealed shut. Ah, here we are. We got, uh, another fucking I am? Is it an old one, or... Oh, these are old IMs that are just now coming through to my phone. Weird. The goddesses seem held in place, as if by an unfathomably powerful enemy. Energy. Enemy. Yeah, that works too. Alright, I, I gotta, like, see what... Why is this doing? Like, why am I getting all these now? I got all these before. I was on... Like, when I went and took a shit earlier, I was on the phone talking to Andrew, and I'm... It's, it's a bloop, 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 and all the shit that I got from before. Weird. All hail the power of darkness. All shall pray to the power of darkness. The goddesses have fallen to my strength, and their priests are dead. Humankind has lost its protectors. Now all shall kneel before me. Seven hundred years ago, I was built but a step from victory when those dastardly goddesses sealed me away in the inky void. My countless years of imprisonment and all those nights of humiliation, endless and debilitating, have at long last come to an end. Now the promised moment is nigh. 
That's a new I am. Ugh. The moment when demon kind usurps man's place as masters of this world. That moment is here. You actually saw that on Steam. My brothers, in blood and in arms, heed my call, children. Let us teach humanity the true meaning of terror. I don't think so, demon. Look who it is, Gobin from the first game. East is now back where it belongs, and the priests are in attendance. Or did you forget that I'm a descendant of Tova? I'm sorry to be so late, Adol. Quickly, play the silver harmonica. Its sound will remove the curse on the goddesses. I actually think I have to have to play it. There we go. And if it hasn't been painfully obvious to you by now that it's Rhi and Fina from the first game are actually the goddesses of Ys. Adol, you have done well in Greek getting this far. I am Rhi, goddess of Ys. When the demons were wiped out, we were the ones who buried the Cleria deep within the ground. The Cleria was born of the demons, you see, and of the magic, and we deemed its presence a hazard. Hundreds of years passed in tranquility until the day Cleria was excavated, misidentified as silver. Because of the magic this released, Dark Fact was able to gain the edge he needed to break the seal. We do not have the strength to reseal the demons of our own, on our own, I'm afraid. We need the might of a swordsman to aid us in this, our darkest hour. You must somehow destroy the Black Pearl. Please wear my ring during the fight. It will weaken the demon. Oh, Adol, I've been hoping I would see you again. It's me, Fina. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth before, that I'm actually one of the twin goddesses of Ys. Using magic to seal away the demons guaranteed the seal would eventually be broken. If magic itself is not eradicated, this land will never know true peace. Beyond this portal lies a giant black pearl, which is the true source of all magic in Ys. That is the demon's secret. I will imbue your blade with the concentrated power of the land of Ys. How about give me the clear your shield? That'd be great. Level up! Alright, I'm level 51, I guess. This is the final battle. Everything hinges upon you, my friend. Do not falter. You're holding a shield. Adol, where you been? Hey, Luda! It's me, Luda Gemma. I brought you the Clearia shield. I think you'll need it in the coming fight. Haha, <laughs> thank you. I need it! I need to be top level, but I, I, hopefully level 51 will do. This is to be the last battle between demon and human. Peace is within our grasp. Alright. Alright. Let's equip the shield. I want to use the shield magic, but not until I'm right outside where I need to be. reaching the point of no return, so... Yeah, once you pass this bridge, you can't go back. This is it. Put on the shield magic. Final boss, final boss battle. Darm himself. I am Darm. I am the source from which magic and demon kind alike are formed. My power is that which created Ys, and my power alone can sustain it. I shall consume your very soul, and you shall know true despair. Well, I can't, I can't be hurt until my magic runs out, so I might as well just try and go ham on him.
You do want to try and avoid it because getting hit runs out your magic faster. Shield magic's done. Still have the fucking healing item that I brought with me, too. He's going into his second form. I did good in that first part, wow. Alright, that I didn't do good there. Shit! All right, all right. I did good at first, and then I was like, nah, kid. Nah. Uh, I should have made it like a separate save after going across the bridge. Apparently I'm not at maximum level, though. I thought I was when I hit 50, but apparently it's not 50. Actually, wait, hold on a second. The Rota Fruit, of course! I'm so stupid! I could have kept my shield! Alright. Here we go. Let me, let me, um... Let me make a save, though. Like, all I have to do is press the fucking X button. On Xbox, it is the A button. Alright. Darm, you're going down, dude. I don't care who you are, I don't care where you came from. I'm gonna fuck you up. Never mind healing, heal my magic. I'm doing as good this time. Cracking, I really didn't want to give him the chance to attack. I'm so glad I had a rotor for it, too. Oh. Yes! Darn it! Darn it! Peace! Spendthrift! Whatever that means. I'm like leveling up. Doesn't matter. Game over, motherfucker. Game over. All my magic's draining because I just destroyed the source of all magic, so. There you go. And of course, the heat came on while I was doing that. I'm make this all louder. Adol was greeted with a sea of smiling faces. The goddesses Lilia and the descendants of the six priests were there. Mr. Adol! You did it! And guess what? Turns out I'm a descendant of one of the six priests myself. Priest Hadal was my ancestor. Kind of cool, huh? The whole time you were fighting, I was praying that you'd be able to banish the Black Pearl from this world. Then I heard a shattering sound, and I knew you'd done it. I knew everything was going to be alright. It'll all be peaceful, like it was before. Finally, everyone can live in a world free from the torment of demons. Yeah, there's a problem going over in Salsetta and... Well, I can't play that game next. <laughs> this is on the Vita, and plus I'd probably do East 3 first anyway, even though it takes place after self set I'd do Oath and Felgana, because I can get that on Steam. I have it on Steam. Shit. I don't know how I'll ever do East 4, but I'll have to figure it out. I I should be happy, but I can't stop crying. Tarf, please don't cry. If you do, you'll get me started too, and then I won't be able to stop. My name is Maria Mesa. The blood of Priest Mesa runs through my veins. The demons offered up sacrifices in hopes of tracking down and killing the descendants of the priests. 
Darm knew what the goddesses were planning, and he feared they might succeed. Oh, well, he should have. I'm sure the only reason I'm still alive after the sacrificial ceremony is because of the priest's bracelet. Peace has returned, but at the cost of more lives than I'd care to imagine. I'm going to build a monument in the Campanile of Lane to commemorate all who were sacrificed there. Adol, my boy, you did it. You really did it. My last name is Dabby. I guess Priest Dabby was an ancestor of mine. Who knew? Well, I mean, you should have since your last name is Dabby. The goddesses told me in a dream to come here. When I first saw you in Ramia Village, I somehow just had this feeling. I knew you'd be the one to guide us, the one to lead us into a new age of peace and prosperity. It's amazing. At long last, Ys has been set free of its ancient curse. It's like a whole new beginning for us. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm babbling, but I'm just so excited. In any case, I can't wait to get back home. Now that the shrine's free of demons, old man Regal, or Reg will help me flip his lid. Oh, help me flip it? What the hell's wrong with me? At all, it's me, Keith. I am no longer a demon, so I apologize if my appearance surprises me. Magic has vanished from the land, and with it, so too is the curse placed upon me. When I was in prison, burn bless, I lost myself in reverie. I remembered when my sister was killed by the demons. I remembered what she said to me that evening, six months ago, the day she was taken from this mortal coil. It was like her blood had stained the sunset, and as the life slipped from her body, she struggled to speak. And with her dying breath, she said to me, I pity the demons. And at the time, I simply didn't understand. I was consumed by sorrow and rage at her loss, so the idea of pity toward demons seemed like nonsense. But now that I've been a demon myself, I think I understand. Back in Burnbless, when I held the black pearl in my demonic hand, I was overcome with dark desires. Demons are controlled by a bottomless well of evil intent. They're incapable of creation. All they are and all they know is destruction. But Marie loved to create. Oh, it's Marl. Marl loved to create. She loved it more than anything and she pitied the demons for what they lacked. My apologies, I don't mean to bring down the mood. This is no time for such depressing talk. It is time for celebration. We have overcome the greatest disaster we've ever faced. And we have to thank you. We, uh, uh, and we have you to thank for that, Adol. Words cannot express our gratitude, my gratitude. Well, gee, I wonder if Gemma was your ancestor. <laughs> Luda, jeez. Adol, you've really done it. I was standing in front of Darm Tower, and I saw its sun engulfed in light, and then you shot into the sky. Yeah, I know, I was there at the end of the first game. Due to the finality of your victory, I felt certain that Asteria will see many changes soon. Positive changes. Without the shadow of the demons looming over us, people can again stand on their own two feet. Now we can begin rebuilding. We have, uh, we have control over our lives once again. You're the one who reclaimed that right from us from the demons. At all, what you have accomplished here is the definition of the true definition of heroism. Please stay with us here in Asteria. Yeah, he's not going to stay. He's got to go to France, dude. It's, uh, it's called Celsed in this game, but that's where he's got to go. We need your courage to help us rebuild this ravaged land. We need you to keep us on the right path. You did it, Adol. Like everyone else, I had a really odd dream before coming here myself. In fact, the goddesses appeared before me and told me that East was returning to the surface and I was to go to the shrine. I woke up and looked up, and there it was, the land of East, right in front of my eyes. I had to run like mad, and I just barely made it here in time for the final battle of yours. So, Adol, the magic that spawned the demons was the same magic that kept East afloat, correct? What an astounding power. It was made for our prosperity and so quickly became a part of our everyday lives that ultimately it controlled us. And by relying so heavily on the power of magic, we sowed the seeds of our own undoing. It really makes you think. Everyone owes you an amazing debt of gratitude, Adol. Thank you. You brought peace back to East. Congratulations. You truly become a legend in your own time. Dogie's really easy, eager to see you again, by the way. He only gets mentioned in this game. Poor guy. Adol, I'm so glad you're alright. When you were in the midst of the final battle, I thought my heart was going to explode. Well, that would have been very... Painful, I would imagine. Maybe it did, and I somehow came back to life. No, I'm pretty sure your heart didn't actually explode. If you have something to say, now's the time, little lady. I, uh, I, I go, Ben. You're mean. Adult, don't worry. I'm really very happy to see you. Very, very happy. After 700 years of separation, the peoples of East and Asteria and the rest of the world can reunite as one. 
Many glorious days away, far more now than ever before. From this time forward, there will be no need of goddesses or priests. One by one, all will become to believe in themselves in this new age. The two of us will see to it that the magic brought about by the Black Pearl will never be revived again. We will watch over the land to make sure this peace endures. We will never forget you or what you've done for us, Adol. You have our eternal, undying gratitude. Fina, you gonna say something? Fina. Yo, Fina! I, I think we're third wheels here. We should probably let ourselves out. Good thought, Maria. Adol, we're gonna head back. He just like dirt. Derp. <laughs> you can see Darm Tower, which is pretty cool. She was the first of these really super important characters that you really met, so. You know. Other than Talia Rube, you know. There's so much I want to say. Not Talia Rube. What, what's her fucking... Talia Rube's from Chronicles of Dark World. It, it's Rube. It's something... Sour, Sour Rube, but then her... Her mother was something else. There's so much I want to say. I don't even know where to begin. After you rescued me from the depths of the shrine, I stayed at Jeeva's... Jeeva. That's her name, yeah. Because you meet Jeeva first. Jeeva's house for a short while. I feel like I understand everything now. I never knew how many wonderful people lived in this world. There's no real need for goddesses or priests. And even now, the floating island... Uh, okay, let's try that again. And now, even the floating land of East will be a thing of the past, as Hysteria becomes whole again. I have so many happy memories from my time here, but the best will always be the time I spent with you. Really? You were, like, hurt, and you're walking through the dungeon? It, it doesn't seem pleasant, Fina. I want to know that! I want you to know that more than anything else. During the time I spent with you, I truly felt human. Probably because you were almost dead. I must go. Rhi is waiting for me. Want your harmonica back? Well, it's Rhi's harmonica, technically. I hope that you'll think of me from time to time, and when you do, I hope you'll remember me as a girl, not as a goddess. I told you, Adol's really not into girls. He's into fighting. Fare thee well. He's into killing monsters and exploring. He's not really much into girls. Fina. I think that was actually Adol speaking. That's like the only time he ever speaks in the whole fucking series. You know, I don't know, maybe... Maybe Adol really does have a thing for Fina, and maybe that's why in the rest of the series, all the other girls, like, don't do it for him, because they're not Fina. That could be it. East 1 and 2 Chronicles Plus. Oh my god, it's singing at me. Another great fucking Falcom game. No itchy. Oh, I'm glad you're not itchy, lady. Look at him dancing. I don't think the song was in the PSP version, not from what I remember. Get the fuck out of here, all like men 40. Who cares about Grand Theft Auto 5? Plain East 2. made it back to burn bless Lilia returns there 
are four pickards. Four pickards. Yeah, now is that all. I'm sorry, Lilia, you're not Fina. Hey, it's Dogi. That was totally Dogi the Wallbreaker. Who becomes such an important character in all the other games. He's not in Celsetta, though. Like, he has a cameo, I think. But he's not in Celsetta. Like, the other guy, the, the big... I forget his name. The guy with the white hair is, like, totally Dogi on Dogi Light. Low-calorie Dogi. Diet Dogi with lemon. But most of the games, he's pretty important. Especially Seven. Oh, sorry, Rui. She got some stone shoes there. Solomon Shrine from a distance. What's next after this, man? I gotta. Oh, I got my notebook here. What am I recording after East? Oh, ooh, that's an interesting one. I'll say it at the end. Re and Fina. It's explained in East Origin how they lost their wings and why. One and two Chronicles Plus. Totally recommend you guys get this on Steam. Um, I mean, it's two games. The East one is short, but East two is really cool, as you can see. It is a better game than the first one. Um, I mean, Oath and Felgana would be the next East game, but, uh, you know, I'm not going to do that right away. I got other shit planned, and, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. Ancient East vanished. Yeah. Yeah, but I would do Oath. I, I'm not doing. You know, I'm not doing them in story order. Otherwise, I would have done Origin first, and then I would have done East One, and then East Two, and then I would do Salsetta next. But. I have no way of recording Salsetta right now, unless there's going to be a PC version, um, or I find a way to hook the Vita up to the computer. And but even then, like I'd have to still use the Vita to control it because it uses some touchscreen stuff. So, I mean, some of it's just controlling the camera, but or like highlighting enemies. But then there's like some puzzles that use the touchscreen. There were other versions of East Four, but I mean, like. The one on, like, Super Famicom, uh, Mask of the Sun, wasn't super amazing. And the one on Turbo Graphics, um, which is the Dawn of East, was good. But it, um, I don't know. I've never done, a, like, a Turbo Graphics CD game for an LP. So I, I would have to figure that out, like, best way to do that. But, um, yeah. There it is, East 1 and 2 Chronicles, copyright Nights, 2009, Nihon Falcon Corporation. Yeah. But yeah, um, the next game that I have planned, the next RPG that I have planned, is actually a game that I have never played before. It's called Pure Solar and the Great Architects. Or so, yeah, Pure Solar and the Great Architects. And there's an interesting story behind it. Why is the screen doing this to me? <laughs> it's going to its like true resolution, not that stretched out shit that you play. Alright, well anyway, um... Pure Soul and the Great Architects was an independently developed game um, that came out, I think, around 2009 or so, and it came out for the Sega Genesis, which was interesting. And you could actually buy it, like, from the developer. They would send you, like, a Sega Genesis cartridge and whatnot, or you could buy the ROM from their website. And they think they made a version that used, like, Sega CD, and, you know, but then um, they made a PC version. I think Tanya got it for me. And I, you know, and she always asked, "Are you going to play it? Are you going to play it?" I was like, "Well, you know what? 
I think that would be a good one for a blind let's play. And she's oh yeah, that would be really good. So I'm finally getting around to that. That's going to be next. So I'll see you guys real soon with not more East 2, but with Pure Solar and the Great Architects, which I'll be playing for the first time ever here on Steam. I'll be playing the HD version. Although from what I understand, you can, at the press of a button, go back to 16-bit graphics or music at any time you want. I've heard that's a thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I might show that off, but I'll probably just be like using the HD version. So anyway, um... Yeah, that's it for East Ancient East Vanished Parts One and Two, specifically Part Two, which was called the final chapter. That was far. It was not the final chapter of East. It was the final chapter of the story Ancient East Vanished. So that being said, uh, fuck you. Yeah.